What is going on, Lunatics? I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you like the burns that have been happening in Luna Classic STC. Now, I know you like, but do you like the price action? And I don't think that you do because you haven't seen that big, big movement, right? However, you've actually seen movement, but because you bought the top or because you bought it a different position, you're not really feeling it because unless you're DCAing your way through this, sometimes you don't feel really good about it because your dollar cost average is a little bit too high. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Uh, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Before we get started, I got something really, really imperative to talk to you about. And that's Terra Casino. Guys, if you haven't tried Terra Casino out, listen to this. There is $2 million in giveaways. Guys, this is 2 million pounds, I'm sorry, in, in giveaways this month. So, and, and they are sponsored with World Poker League and also Pragmatic Play. And there's another one called Evolution, which should be popping up here any moment now. There we go. Evolution, bet and win 1.2 million pounds as well from September 2nd to September 29th. Guys, what are you waiting for? Do you not like money? That's the question that you have to ask yourself. If you're watching this video, it's because you want price pump on Luna Classic. But there's free money just being given away. Millions of dollars being given away. And you're not even playing. Sign up today or I don't know if I can trust you to get rich. If you can't win, are you going to make it? I don't know. Maybe. You might. Who knows? Anyway, if you haven't already, go to at Terra Casino underscore IO and you can follow them on uh, social media. And of course, look, there's your odds. You know everything that you need to know about all of the sports-based gaming and wagering that's available. Plus, what's your biggest gainer today? That's the question from yesterday. Well, I think it was Bitcoin. Uh, you know, I think they really kind of controlled the market. But guys, if you're not paying attention, you're not paying attention. Also, while you're doing that, Terraport.finance, if you have meme coins, if you have anything that you're looking for, that is the place to go. And as a matter of fact, remember coming over here to the earning portion, there's only the 14-day lock period that is left. Everything else is sold out. Now, what does that mean? That means that the majority of the Luna Classic community is locked into Terraport.finance for the future. 720 days, 540 days. 365 days, 180 days, it's all sold out. That means that they really agree with me that this is going to be years, that Terraport.finance is going to be around for the next few years. And if you're not part of it, you're missing out, not financial advice. Let's move on to the news. All right, guys, on Commonwealth, nothing has changed. There's just a little bit of discussion about the L1 development framework, proposals for some of the burns, burn 46 million USTC, burn 729 million USTC from Happy Caddy Crypto, and then proposal to set the full deposit of a proposal for 2 million uh, to prevent people from you know, gaming, basically, um, continuing to put up stupid proposals, like it, you know, should have some kind of weight to it, if you will. So uh, interested to see how that plays out, but let's move on. Meme coin madness is still mad. The boys still ripping. Food still doing pretty well. Juris, same thing, still doing pretty well. Garuda X is now up. The only thing for me that's down at this point is Lunk Pepe. That's the only one that is down above the $50 uh, that I put in initially. So uh, that's a pretty good sign. That's a, a really good and, and, and interesting thing. And by the way, the market kind of weighing down right now. This is a Bitcoin market, looks like anyway, for the next two weeks. So, and that could change at any time. It, we get an altcoin run. So you might see a nice price spike. As far as voting goes, the upgrade to 3.1.5 looks like it is going to go through with flying colors. The integrated rule set for secure and inclusive L1 development came up for discussion which we talked about before, and it came up for proposal. There's left on it. Looks like it, it might have a little trouble here. Now, a couple of good votes in the right direction will uh, push that up, but at this point, doesn't look good. Uh, also, the signaling proposal here, the creation of a collateral pool, does not look like it's going through. There's 20 hours left. Again, those things where it could push it, it push its way up over the next little while. But you can see here, I mean, there's just, just really just not a lot of support for it. 21% yes, 20% no, 19% no, uh, and then 30% no with veto, and then abstain. So I don't think it has really a shot at passing, but anything could happen uh, depending on, you know, who you get in here. Uh, and when you go through here, you know, you got all no's that tips the scale mightily. And you got quite a few people who've still not uh, cast their votes. So uh, all knows right out there. Uh, Orion, auto compound. What does Orion do? We go through here. Orion hasn't weighed in. So there are some people here that could weigh in that might change the the way this 
kind of plays out. So we don't know yet. We'll see what happens there. Also, the proposal to improve the government module by BLV Labs is almost entirely a no at this point. Um, no, there's a new team uh, coming in, and they had a, a, a bunch of different ideas and benefits. Look, I'm going to encourage you to read through this, decide for yourself what this proposal means to you, and then vote accordingly. But so far, largely, it's been a no. Now, uh, we will have to go back and we'll have to see what, why do people not like it? What, what is the problem with it? And I don't know the answer to that right now. I just know that the proposal came up for a vote. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, there we go. Let's talk price action. All right, price action. Uh, so the market's up $14 billion on the day. Bitcoin trading around 57.7. Had a nice little recovery from it previously. Now, I just to let you guys know, I am short on Bitcoin because in the short term, I do think that there's going to be a downturn. Uh, now, I, I, I entered the position protecting the short at this point because ultimately I think that we are going to come down here and we are going to test some of these lows. I'm just not sure about today. I don't know what the U.S. market's going to do, uh, but uh, you know, it, 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 to me, it looks like the, the, the market needs to capitulate just a little bit. But here's the thing, Bitcoin running super hard right now. Um, a couple of other ones have started some some significant runs, but you know it, we're we're still waiting because look, Bitcoin has to eat first. We know that, so uh, let's see what happens there. However, for us, let's go back here and look. And look, uh, we got the head and shoulders pattern playing out right here. Um, th that doesn't look good. That's not, that's not exactly what you're looking for uh, when you get this. You 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 got your shoulders playing out right here, and that means downward momentum. Now, here's the thing: I don't think that that's downward momentum. I don't think that we're in uh, a downward momentum environment. I think that we're on our way up. So uh, that's probably just a, a weird sort of look for it. Um, what I think here is we got a lower, uh, we got a higher low over here playing out. I don't know if that's confirmed yet. Uh, we'll need a little bit more data and we could be looking at this move getting ready to happen. So we could be looking at a, a big move coming up this way. Now, I gave you this right here and it's still playing out. We haven't invalidated or anything like that. Uh, we came back down from the, the 236 to the 382. We tested it. Uh, now we're trying to push our way back up and through it and that could happen at any point today. So we could see a nice, nice, nice move coming here pretty soon. Again, I think it settles in the nine range before moving further. The reason for that is because as you scroll out here, you can see there's just a lot of settling right in that four zeros nine range. So I think that that's gonna be uh, the next spot or the next impulse move if you will now here's the other part i don't know that that's going to be today tomorrow or the, you know I, I think we have to wait for bitcoin to do whatever it's about to do with the rate cuts in the united states uh which probably 25 basis points i'm hoping for 50 but 25 basis points looks like it's on the table right now and that's all we're going to uh, as far as volume goes we're down 51 million in volume most of that by the way Binance uh just down on volume the rest of them kind of okay in volume so uh, it is really just a kind of a Binance downward trend. Um, over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit. 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal here uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option and finally and this is the big one guys I keep telling you this it's the launch pool get into the launch pool create a contract I'm gonna make a new contract with six ethereum right now it's a bronze contract profit sharing is 50 50 we're gonna do that right now done all right guys, that's what we're doing we've got a bunch of these set up remember this last one that I completed uh, I, look I can't tell you how important it is for you to stay or crypto. You see the numbers right there. Start staking with Cryptonomy.finance today. USTC, same thing. I mean, the volume is still just kind of over at, at Binance. So uh, hopefully we'll see a nice little turnaround here coming pretty soon with those burns. The burns, by the way, 747 million over the last 24 hours. Really, it's over the last 24 hours, but over the last seven days uh, since we had that big, big amount of burns happening. Uh, also, Strathcole, huge shout out to at all notes. Gross. Uh, I'm just kidding. All notes. Please don't, you know, 
whatever you might do to me. Anyway, for their continued support of Long, today we were able to test and deploy an endpoint only release with them that addresses the station mobile and probably others gas issues. Please verify that it now works better for you without the recent out of gas errors that many users experience. Estimated fees would be uh, would now be more accurate in these specific situations. Hopefully there's something that's happened here that's going to improve the experience. So test it out. Let me know what you... Now let's follow up on tax to gas here real quick. No update yet from Genuine Labs after that September the 5th update. It's been seven days since that. Are we nervous? No, because they tend to go quiet and they're working on getting everything done. Tax to gas is finished and we will focus all our efforts to finish what we've started and provide the Luna Classic blockchain with a finished product deployable on chain. So waiting for that to finish up and then we'll have the implementation of tax to gas which changes the dynamic of the luna classic blockchain so i think a lot of people are kind of holding for that but it should be noted that genuine labs is not the only developer on this chain now we also have blv and we have one more that i can't name yet because they're going through the kyc but that's tripled the number of developers big developers labs if you will that are building in this uh, blockchain right now so that's exactly what you want to see and you want to see more and more come in so and we're going to see that so um good stuff happening now let's close this out with something very very simple guys very important uh we are in good shape not great shape good shape in this market we're getting to october november october november are largely the best months for cryptocurrency bar none there's nothing that's even close to uh, october and November and we're going through the doldrums of September so uh, I hope that you recognize that I hope you see that and I hope that you guys are ready for what I think is going to be a really big move now what is it about uh, October and November that are so special well the businesses all the businesses end their calendar years, or not their calendar years, but their fiscal years on September 30th, which means that it frees up capital for them. So this is where you start to see a big move from some of these people getting into, after the end of their year, uh, investing for that year, if you will. They'll layer themselves in in October and November. Uh, December will dump a little bit because it's Christmas, people taking profit, but then January, February, March, that's the bull run, guys. So you are almost there. You've almost made it. Just have a little bit more patience with this process, and then I think that you're going to be well rewarded for Luna Classic. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.